So today we're going to paint a watercolour painting of Olaf and um, it's really quick and simple to do and I'm going to be using some watercolours. I use Winsor & Newton watercolours. Um, all you're going to need is some blues. You could have one blue and you could do a mixture of uh, blue paint and then leaving some of the page white um, or you can do a mixture of blues. I'm going to do probably four blues and then you need either a white gouache paint which is like a thicker um, paint because watercolour white won't be strong enough to do his outline or you could use something what I'm going to use is a Posca pen which is like a paint pen so or you could use black paint so there's a million different ways you can do so basically you can't go wrong anything you would like feel free but what I'm going to do is use the wet on wet technique so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a brush quite a, a wide brush and I'm going to just put it on the card you could choose any size card you like um, I would recommend quite a thick card because where we're using water quite a lot of water um, you'll need something quite strong and then I like to use this sort of brush so quite a round brush quite a thick brush I'm just going to dip that in some water and I'm going to pick a blue any blue any blue will do and then I'm just going to start putting it on the page so there's no exact science to this it's basically wherever you feel like it takes you pop a bit of colour in and um what you could do if you wanted really defined borders you could use some washi tape and just put a border around the outside and that will keep the paint from spreading i kind of like having like the rougher borders i think it looks quite nice and um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in with a different shade of blue now And basically you're just building it up putting it however you like like i said there's no right or wrong for this i kind of like when the colors blend into one another that's just my personal preference i think it looks pretty cool and these are really really nice ways to make cards for people um, that give that kind of personal touch because you've hand painted it and they're pretty quick and simple to make i've just got this card it's a c6 card i bought it from the range um, I think you get like 20 or 30 in a pack, so you can make lots of cards, which is amazing. I'm now going in with a like really vibrant blue. This is like my favourite shade of blue. Like I say, very, very quick, very quick. As you see, we're already um, more than halfway through painting, which is very exciting. And um, like I say, you don't have to be too precise. It's kind of nice just to see where the paint lands and the way it spreads that's what i like about using wet on wet technique because you don't kind of know exactly how it's going to go in the end but it's nice that you let the paint just go wherever it likes so i've gone in with a full shade of blue now this is going to be my last shade of blue and as you can see there's some bits that there's kind of like a little bit of white left i don't mind that i personally quite like that but the great thing as well is that you can layer up so if the colour isn't as vibrant as you would like you can just go over it again um, you can dry your brush a bit um, and take away some of the excess water and that will help build up the colour oh, I think we're getting close to uh, being done with this I really like the vibrant very vibrant blue so I might go through and a few more patches of that just because it's my absolute favorite shade and then basically we now just wait let this dry and then we're ready to paint Ola so as I said very very quick very very simple so it's been a little while now and all of our blue paint has dried so our background is done so now what we're going to do is the fun part, which is draw Olaf or paint Olaf. As I said before, you can either use a gouache in white to kind of create the outline, or you could use a black watercolour, or what I'm going to use is a white Posca pen. And basically this is a paint pen. With a Posca pen, all you have to do is shake it to activate it. And then the nib, you press down a few times. I'm going to do it on a piece of tissue paper. Press down a few times just so the paint starts to come out. And then it's ready to use. So the first step to drawing Olaf 
is we're going to create his forehead. So it's just kind of like a U shape if it was a bit more angular. And then we're going to do his cheek. So his cheek is kind of like an upside down L. Do his cheek. And then on the other side, we're going to make it a little bit rounder. Then we're going to draw his chin. It's quite a big chin. Then we're going to do the bridge of his nose. A little bit under his nose. And then we're going to do a big smile. And then his famous tooth. Next we're going to do a little bit of hair. He just has a few strands of hair. Now we're going to move down to his body. As we know, a snowman kind of has that round shape. So we're going to do one bit of round. Then to over here. And then the second bit. And you're going to leave the bottom bit free so you can kind of draw some feet. And they're just simple, kind of like squares. So there's a line across here, then we're going to do his buttons. Then we're going to add some arms. So you kind of want them kind of thin if you can, because obviously they would be twigs. So we're just going to do a little kind of details for fingers, again kind of like twigs. And that is your Olaf. As I said, super quick, super easy, and I think these are really, really fun to make for Christmas cards. So I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for joining me. And um, I'd love to see what your Olafs look like. So please do tag me on Instagram at most.magical.guides. Um, also, feel free to comment below if you'd like to see any more of these tutorials. And um, I'd love to hear your suggestion. And um, do head over to mostmagicalguides.com forward slash blog. And you can find out loads of information on how to plan your ultimate Walt Disney World trip and loads of fun facts about Disney. So until next time, see you soon. Bye bye.